Hi everyone, in this video I will be giving you 10 steps to launching and creating a business slash company. So step number one to launching a business is of course to have your product or your service. I'm going to focus on products in this um, step by step. So the key to having a successful business is to solve people's problems or create something new, unique or create something that people didn't know that they needed before or something that makes people's lives easier or better. So if you know or feel you have that product, then you can begin to source your product. If it's a product that exists, you can look for existing suppliers on websites such as Alibaba and other wholesalers. Or you will need to find a supplier or manufacturer to manufacture your product and create a prototype of it. As well. So in this course, it gives you ideas on how to source your product, where to do it, and how to contact suppliers, how to negotiate with suppliers, the things to say, and it also gives, you know, formats and written text as to the kind of things you should say to suppliers, especially if you've never dealt with Chinese suppliers or other types of suppliers before. Step number two to starting your business is to have your business name and logo. I would say two or three main things to consider when choosing a business name is that it should be one easy to pronounce or say why because this will help them to remember it also syllables it should be quite short and simple to say i would say no more than four syllables and it should have some sort of meaning to it as well um if you find it hard to think of one you can try and combine two words together that mean something to you it could be perhaps a sibling's name and something that influenced you to start the business. The course gives you loads of ideas on how to create an effective business name, the things to look out for, and also ideas and examples of existing brand and business names that are good. It also suggests how to make an effective logo. A logo is a visual thing that your customers will remember and is also very important because there's some businesses, all you have to do is look at the logo and you know what business it is. You don't even need to see the brand name by it. And brands like Apple, Starbucks, McDonald's. Again, the course gives you ideas on how to do so. Step number three is to register your business. So if you are creating a company, it's best to register it as a limited company. But in the course, it discusses the difference between a sole trader and a limited company and helps you to decide which will be best for you. But if you want to have a business that lasts for eternity, can go on even when you're not here anymore, or one that other people can invest in, then it's best to choose a limited company. It also helps with things like taxes. Um, again, the course goes through this in detail, how to register one, how to set one up in both the, mainly in the UK, and also gives ideas for how to do so in the US as well. So next up, I would say is to look at photo shoots and images. So let's say you've already received your samples, you're happy with them, you're ready to move on to the next step. The next step is to actually create your product um, into a visual imagery for your customers, especially if it's an online business. So photo shoots, picking locations, planning what kind of message you want to convey through the photo shoot and how you want your customers to perceive your products. For example, if it's a luxury brand, perhaps they're luxury handbags. Um, maybe it could be done in a mansion style house with a lot of luxurious items and props surrounding. Then maybe there's a certain type of aesthetic that you want to portray as well. The type of person that would wear these handbags is someone that earns a certain amount of money or someone that works in a city or maybe um, a rich wife. It just depends on the type of message that you're trying to convey. Um, also gives you an idea on how to find good photographers as well and the type of models to pick as well as that's very important. For example, if it's women of all colors, sizes, ages, then you would need to have skinny women, plus size women, black women, white women, Asian women, just a variety so you can allow your customers to feel that they can relate to your product. And I think if you want inclusivity, you need to create that in your brand and product. Again, the course goes through all of these things in details, giving ideas and effective examples on how to do effective photo shoots and find good models for your brand. 
The next step I would say is to focus on branding. Branding refers to what sets your business apart from another. For example, if you are selling lashes, which is the focus product in the course, there are hundreds of lash companies, but what sets your lash company apart from others? It all comes down to branding. Is your lash company solving people's problems? How have you marketed this? For example, you could have a lash brand who are all about dramatic party lashes, but yours, again, following the idea of luxurious mink lashes also boils down to marketing how have you presented these products through advertising what kind of models have you used are they models that kind of share the same values as your brand what's the pricing of your brand saying as cheaper doesn't necessarily mean it will always bring more customers sometimes putting a higher price point allows your customer to see the value of your product so again all of these things are covered in detail in the course and how to effectively brand your products as well. The next step is to build your online store. This is the store that you're going to use to sell your products. Um, in the course, I there's a suggestion of loads of different um, e-commerce providers. The focus in the course is Shopify because it's probably one of the easiest to use. Um, it's very beginner friendly as well. So there's a 45 minute on, um, demonstration on how to build a dummy store um, which will be a lash store and it goes literally from beginning to end in terms of creating the store signing up adding your products adding your images um, doing shipping doing pricing adding the colors designing the actual website return policies everything that you would need to do for your online store is done in this course from start to finish in a 45 minute online demonstration the kind of things that you should consider in terms of shapes colors um, the information, the type of text and information that you share with your customers, um, the way that the images are uploaded as well. All these things are important. And I also think that having an online store is really good because in this day and age, most people shop online. You don't need to worry about theft like you would in a normal store. Um, your store can also run 24-7. You can be sleeping and still be making money because people can order at any time and then the next day all you would have to do is fulfill it or ship it from your warehouse or from home or wherever you're doing it from. Another important step is how to generate sales for your business. This can be done through a number of ways such as email marketing, social media. There's so many platforms you can use to generate sales. The main kind of selling point is your website so it's about how to draw traffic to your website and that can be done through the platforms I've mentioned so social media email marketing and um, word of mouth all these things are very powerful and the course kind of goes in detail as to the type of platforms you can use how to use these platforms to generate sales and other things you can use such as promotions offers and just unique things that you may not have considered could generate sales how to use advertising via facebook instagram and how to effectively market and spend your money in a way that can create a return as well the next step to consider when launching a business is email marketing now this can be useful before and after launching your business Email marketing basically refers to emails that you send to customers or potential customers or people who have shown interest in your product. Um, in my experience, this is the most effective form of marketing because like I said, it's people who are already interested in your product. So you're not necessarily trying to convince or force them to purchase your product. You're just kind of reminding them that, you're, that you and your brand and your products exist and p perhaps giving them incentives through promotions or offers. So in terms of using email marketing before launching your business, you can create an email marketing list um, where you get people signed up so that when you are ready to launch, all you have to do is send out the launch email um, to all these customers on your list and then yeah they're ready to purchase and buy. In terms of after your business you can send emails with like new brand release information, new arrivals, information about your products, information on how to use your products. The course gives you a platform to create your email marketing list, shows you how to do it through a video demonstration, also gives you formats and templates on the type of emails that are effective to send to customers and will work and help to bring in revenue. The next step to consider after I would say you've launched your business is influencer marketing. You can also use influence influencer marketing before you've launched your business. 
So influencer marketing basically refers to using influential people to market or advertise your products. This can be done through celebrities, it could be done through social media influencers, people who are very popular on social media. Um, I think my most effective form of influencer marketing is YouTube because it's kind of like eternal advertising. The video will always be there. I think it's also effective because influencers are influencing the people who watch them or just people in general. They've built an audience who trust them. If they promote your product and they kind of represent your product well, these people are most likely to purchase your product in return. And like I said, I feel like this has been very, very effective for my business. So the course gives you more of an in-depth understanding as to what influencers are, how to work with them, how to create contracts, because you want to make sure that your product is being used in the right way and that the money that you're paying them is going towards the right thing and that they're not just going to take advantage. So also having negotiations in terms of pricing, templates on how to contact influencers, how to negotiate with them, how to find influencers. And this is done through a video demonstration. Where it's showing you how to find influencers by using keywords, um, how to know that they're good for your brand as well and also how to use micro-influencers, which are smaller influencers, as they can be sometimes even more effective than influencers with a larger audience. Other things that are covered in the course are shipping solutions. So, you know, finding out the best shipping couriers that you can use, how they can collect from your warehouse. Also dealing with customer complaints and inquiries, there's a number of templates that are provided for you to use and there's advice on the type of language that you should use as well. Also outsourcing and delegating roles, so for example when your business begins to grow or even now how to employ people, so how to find the right people, where to find them, what kind of uh, platforms you can use to source employees, the type of questions you should ask the type of things to look out for, how to pay them, how to find them up on your payroll, also how to find good packaging solutions as well for your products, ones that will be cost effective and effective in terms of shipping. So there's a number of things covered in the course. I'm going to leave it down below in the description. It's very cheap. It's very reasonably priced because the purpose is for people who want to start a business who may not have a lot of capital to begin. So that's bit, that's taken into consideration. And it goes in detail from start to finish of how to launch your business from A to Z. Guys, it's extremely, extremely thorough and helpful. And I would really advise you to do it if you want to create or launch a product-based online business.